Hello everyone, I'm Shamant Goda, CSAT faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome you once again for the question of the day series. This is the bouncer of the last video, which I'm going to explain this one. See, find the number of zeros at the end in 100 factorial. This is a very simple question, okay? Look here now, number of zeros, as I explained in the last video, number of zeros depends on the number of twos and number of fives. Hence, divide this 100 by twos here like this, okay? This is 50 times, again divide by 2, 25 times, again divide by 2, this is 12 times. Ignore the reminder. If you are getting reminder, yes, reminder is 1, but I am ignoring the reminder. Again, take 2, multiply, okay, 6 times, 2, 3 times and 2, 1 time. So, totally this is 50, 75, okay, 75, this is 87, 90, 96 and 97. The 2 powers are 97 in number. How to find the number of 2s in 100 factorial is, this is how, divide by 2. Similarly, how to find the number of 5s? Divide the 100 by 5. Okay, this division only and only when the factorials are given here. Okay, when you divide 100 by 5, this is 20 times. Again, 5 divide 4 times. So, 24 5s are there. In this 100 factorial, 2s are 97 and 5s are 24 in number. If there are 24 5s and 97 2s, you will only get 24 zeros. This is the total number of zeros in 100 factorial. And guys, this is today's question. Okay, and the question says, the ratio of two numbers is 1 is to 2. When 7 is added to each, the ratio becomes 3 is to 5. Find those numbers. Two numbers are in the ratio 1 is to 2. Okay, when 7 is added to each, the ratio becomes 3 is to 5. Look here now. Let's say the numbers are 1x and 2x. Okay, ratio can be written in the form of 1 is to 2 or else 1 by 2, okay, which is nothing but here also x is there, here also x is there, x get cancelled here, common factor and the ratio is 1 is to 2, okay. When I add 7 to each of these numbers, see, adding 7, adding 7, the result, whatever you are getting has to be in the ratio 3 by 5, okay. If I solve this one, see, 5x, 5 into x is 5x, 5 into 7 is 35 equals 2 into 3, 6x plus 7 into 3, 21, okay, put the like terms one side, so x becomes here, 21 comes here, minus 20, 35 minus 21 is 14. If x value is 14, this has to be 2x, which is nothing but 28. So, the answer is 14 and 28, option C. This question can also be asked in this manner, two people are there, the ratio of their age is 1 is to 2, when after 7 years, their ratio becomes 3 is to 5. Find the age of the youngest one, eldest one can be a question. Okay, or else two people are there, their salary was in the ratio 1 is to 2. When each person is getting 700 rupees more salary, then the ratio of their salary is 3 is to 5. Okay, this also you can do. Now, very similar question I will give you as the homework which is bouncer. This is very similar to whatever I have done today in this video, the same kind of question, ratio of age of A and B is 3 is to 5, 9 years ago means you have to subtract 9, okay, as we did 3x, 5x rather than plus, this is ago means minus 9 for each, then the ratio becomes 12 is to 23, find the present age of the youngest, okay, I want you to solve this question and put the answer in the comment section guys, thank you and see you in the next video.